start tonight with the loss of a beloved man from one of the most famous families in racing. John Andretti died today at the age of 56 after a lengthy and very public battle with colon cancer. But you know what? John used that battle in order to promote colonoscopies and get people to check it for Andretti. He had a long career in NASCAR, IndyCar, and beyond, with numerous appearances at the Indy 500 and Brickyard 400. But beyond that, Andretti was a champion for others, especially children. He raised millions of dollars for Riley Hospital for Children. And as our Emily Longnecker discovered tonight, he made a lasting impact on many of its patients. To race fans everywhere when they heard the name John Andretti, this is what often came to mind. But for kids like Braden Thomas Scientist and their families, this is the guy they came to know and love over the years. A man who offered comfort and kindness during some of their toughest moments. We've known each other for a while. 14-year-old Braden doesn't even remember the first time he met John. Braden was only two and having back surgery at Riley for his spina bifida. John was visiting the hospital and stopped in Braden's room. The first time we met John, that was probably one of the uh, more... Um, memorable things about him was the fact that he asked about us. He also gave Braden a tiny race car. That's the thing that Braden held on to that entire stay. Uh, anytime he woke up, if it wasn't in his hand, he started asking for his car. In the years that followed, Braden and his parents got to know John through Kroger Race for Riley, a fundraiser John spent decades building, eventually raising more than four million dollars for Riley Children's Foundation. He helped a hospital that helped Save my life. It wasn't the John and Dreddy race for Riley. It was the race for Riley. He didn't want it to be about him. It was about the kids. And when it came to the kids, John pulled out all the stops, once giving Braden and his family a personal tour of IMS. That's when we really got to see what kind of person John was. Um, there weren't any TV cameras around. There wasn't about doing it to put on a show. The friendship so special between John and his family that when Braden found out John was sick three years ago, he wanted his friend to have that special gift John had given Braden when he was just a baby. Then I just get him in the car. He's like, are you sure? I'm like, yeah, keep it. It's, you gave it to me, so now I want to give it to you so you can make it through your journey. A journey for John that's now come to an end, but one his friends like Braden hope to carry on by giving back to kids who need it. And John's legacy will continue through Kroger Race for Riley. The folks at Riley's Children's Foundation tell me John's son will be taking over to carry on his dad's work and legacy. What a legacy that is. What a legacy, right? Yeah. And you can see that through Braden and his family's story. They'll, sure they'll never forget him or his friendship. Mm. Thanks. Thanks, Emily. Yeah. Well, we have seen these tributes to John Andretti from across the racing world all day. IMS, as you see, putting his name on the scoring pylon tonight. They also put the hashtag, check it for Andretti. Our Dave Calabro met John at the track decades ago. They've been friends ever since. Dave will share a special tribute to John a little bit later.